Okay guys, if you've been watching NCIX Tech Tips for any sort of extended period of time or my video blog Linus Tech Tips, you probably already know I'm not a big fan of wireless. I prefer power line networking or good old fashioned, see if I can find one, good old fashioned Cat 5e. Big fan, gigabit networking or power line. However, sometimes in life we are forced to use power line. Say for example, if we have a tablet PC, the reality of it is I can't plug gigabit ethernet into it. It's just not gonna work that way for me. So I'm gonna have to find a way to make wireless work. Now, you can buy high-end routers, like say for example, the E4200 from Linksys. And an E4200 is going to give you as good an experience as you can, but you still have limitations. And one of the biggest limitations for wireless, actually the two biggest limitations are speed, which the E4200 kind of addresses. It's a 450 megabit per second wireless end router. And the other big limitation is range. So many times you set up your new wireless router and you go and you discover that Oh, in my garage where I like to string up my badminton rackets with my stringing machine, this is purely hypothetical by the way, where I'm stringing up my badminton rackets and I'm stuck there for an hour at a time anyway, I sure wish I could throw my tablet or my netbook or notebook or whatever on the table in front of me so I can watch a TV show. Oh, I can't quite make it. Oh, I can, I can see my SSID, I can see my wireless network, but the data is just not quite good enough to stream my video. So that is where the subject of today's Tech Tips comes in. This is the Linksys RE1000. This is a wireless end range extender, and we're gonna walk you guys through how much you can extend your wireless end range by simply taking this little device, which is this big, and using it to extend your wireless range and get a better signal exactly where you need it. So we're getting ready to run the setup wizard, and we just wanna take a closer look at the RE1000 unit itself. So the accessories it comes with are pretty straightforward. We've got the adapter, so instead of using the cord, you can use the wall plug. We've got an ethernet cable, which is included. We've also got the wireless N extender setup CD, which is just this easy setup guide. And finally, we've got a power cable if you want to get a little bit of extra range on your wireless N extender away from where your plug happens to be. On the unit itself, we have some ventilation holes along the sides here, as well as here. We've got a WPS button here, a reset button here, where this plug goes, if you want to set it up you know, on a windowsill or whatever. And then alternately, where this piece goes, if you just wanna plug the unit directly into your wall. And then finally, we have our ethernet connection on the bottom and an indicator light on the front of the unit. So let's start going through the setup guide here, guys. I'm going to accept the end user license agreement and it's going to prompt me and tell me that it only wants to set me up if I am connected via a wireless network. So I'm gonna to connect to TTN. Fascinating. Aha. Okay, well I've never seen that particular uh, particular error before, but there we go, we're connected now. And then what you actually have to do is disconnect your wired connection to your access point if you are using a desktop PC in order to set this up. So if you're using a notebook, you don't really have to worry about that. But if you're using a desktop, you wanna turn off your wired connection and turn on your wireless connection. So we're gonna click next to try again. It's gonna realize that this computer is now connected wirelessly to my E4200 router. And it is preparing to be set up. So the next step guys is to plug power into the range extender and we're doing this, whoops, Logo's upside down, it's now glowing. Very nearby to our router and access point, which is only a couple feet away from me on the floor. The reason for that is when you're setting it up, if you have any difficulty, you wanna be able to eliminate poor wireless signal as a cause for the problem. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And what it's gonna do here is you can see our wireless network connection is going to be changing from TTN, which stands for Tech Tips Network, to at some point. It actually doesn't take that long. We've done this once already. Da, 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 da. Aha, Linksys Extender 17142. 
There we go. So all we have to do is then select the wireless network that we want our Linksys extender to go to, enter the password, And we're just waiting, setting up your extender. And then once this is done, what we're going to do is we're going to use a tablet and we're going to go out in the parking lot in the middle of the night because it's actually 20 after 9 at night uh, and we're here in the filming room, me and Slick, and we're going to see how far we can get without the extender versus how far we can get with the extender set up at sort of the outer limit of the range that we had previously and then we'll compare them. Something to note actually about extender placement is that you don't want to position the extender at the very outer edge of your wireless network. You want to position it sort of, I'd say 20% within it so that the extender has a strong enough signal to communicate easily with your router, but then you also get that extended range overlapping past where the router is capable of delivering a signal, and that is when you will be able to connect to it with your tablet or your laptop or whatever else the case may be to get that extended range. If you go and put it right at the very edge, the communication between the extender and the router will be so poor you'll get no benefit, but if you put it too close, you're not going to get much extended range range out of it anyway. Here's our range test. I'm just going to open up the internet here. So we're going to be just doing internet browsing. That's pretty much the point of what we're trying to achieve here. We want to see how far we can go outside the Tech Tips room. So Slick, if you want to just take a glance back at the Tech Tips room, in that very far corner under the TV, that is where our router and access point is located. So we're going to go ahead and Head outside. We're going to be using night vision mode here. You can see it was actually snowing earlier, so uh, let's let's go here. So I'm going to go to the middle of the parking lot, and then I'm just going to do a Google search here. NCIX. It's really freaking cold. So okay, there we go. So we've got a pretty good network connection here. We're able to load pages fairly quickly. So let's move a little bit further away, shall we? Okay. How's the night vision? Is it working okay? Awesome. Okay, so we're going to search for Parrot on the NCIX website. We're going to see how long that takes. That was pretty quick. Okay. Okay, so let's move a little bit further. Okay, all right. It's pretty cold, pretty cold. Okay, so now let's open up one of these product pages. Let's see how our web browsing experience is going for us. That's still pretty darn good. I was really hoping it would start to uh, conk out right about now. Okay, well, let's, let's make our way further away. I want you to look back at the Tech Tips room. So the Tech Tips room is inside next to my car, which is the only car left because it's like nighttime and stuff. All right, so we've moved us significantly further away now. Our benchmark for our, where we're standing is going to be the first bear tree there. Let's try and take a closer look at one of these pictures. That loaded really quickly. Okay. Wow, the E4200 has phenomenal range. We've got to be at least about 40 to 50 meters away from it at this point, and it's through, uh, through a wall. So uh, here, let's load up the NCIX Snowbound Savings Bonanza. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit slower. It's starting to get slower. Okay, I think we lost it. Let's see if we can load up a different image here. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna find sort of the limit of our range here. We are still connected to the Tech Tips network, so we're going to start to move a little bit closer, see if we can load up this page. Here we go. So this is the limit of our reasonably fast web browsing access. So just to give you guys sort of an approximation, we're in front of Metaphor here, right by this visitor parking spot. And it is probably about 50 meters to the Tech Tips room. So we are going to go back to the lab and we're going to set up the extender and see how much further we can get. All right, guys, so we're about 10, 15 meters outside the door of the Tech Tips room. We've got the extender set up on a box here. It's just to give it a bit of a range advantage. Once the light goes solid, that means that it has a solid connection to the router back at the home base. So let's go back to our original location where we were not able to easily browse the internet last time. Remember, not only are we giving ourselves an access point that is closer 
to where we were from before. Now it's snowing. Wow, it's really cold. Okay, but we are also eliminating walls that are in between. So that's where one of these extenders can be really useful because not only can you, here we go, we're going to open up Google where we ended off last time. So not, oh, not only can you create a shorter path for your wireless signal, but also a more direct one. So here we go, nice and snappy. Let's move a little bit further away and see if we can still browse. Opening up the NCIX site. Last time it actually, we, we did test this once already, and last time it took a second to uh, properly connect to the extender, I think. It was the problem we were running into. Um, so let's, hold on, give me a sec here, guys. No, like, stay, stay filming, stay filming, because I'm pretty sure this is going to work. So, Tech Tips Network, you can see here that we actually have good signal strength. Slow link speed, but it's pretty much all you can expect when you're this far away. So we're going to go back. There we go. Here we go. I think it should be fine now. So let's search. There we are. Nice and snappy. So let's load up the NCIX site. And I can't believe how much uh, snow is starting to, and rain is starting to fall. I wonder if it's because Slick is standing right between me and the extender. Could that be a factor? Let's try NCIX Wikipedia. Oh, there we go. Interwebs is working now. So let's move a little bit further away, shall we? Okay, let's read a personal appeal from Wikimedia, Wikipedia founder Jimmy Wales. So my guess is that if you have something that's permanently located, there we go, that's working. Let's keep moving. So we're about another, wow, we're about another 15 to, 15 to 18 meters away from where we crapped out last time. Let's go ahead and load up the Wikipedia Foundation page, which is also loaded. Let's keep moving. Come on, let's go, let's go, here we go. Another cool thing that the extender can do is you can actually plug an Ethernet cable into it. So not only will it extend the wireless around that area, but you can also plug Ethernet and use it as a bridge. So it'll go wireless to wireless and then to the Ethernet connection that is directly plugged into the extender, plus all of the wireless devices that you can plug in around it. So I'm going to just go to Picasa here, which is still working. Let's keep going. So you guys are going to be pretty impressed by how far away we are from the Tech Tips room, I think. Um, by the time we're done with this extender, we're still loading web pages at a fairly quick rate. So by eliminating that wall, look, look how impressive that is. Oh, hold on. This is going to load my Gmail. Hold on, hold on. It looks like we might be at the limit anyway here, folks. I don't think we're going to get much further than this. Or wait, maybe it loaded. Hold on. Let me try clicking on something else. Yeah, it did. It loaded my Gmail, so it's still working. Okay, so check this out, guys. Come on over here, Slick. So way over there, that's got to be about 100 meters away. That's my car. My car is parked right outside the Tech Tips room. And you can see that box in front of my car. Can you see the box? That box is where the range extender is. Color me impressed. I think that as long as the range extender, you're not like moving around between the uh, router and range extender range, you're going to have a little bit more success with it. But this is going to be awesome for setting up next to the window, maybe uh, in front of your pool like near your pool so that you can make sure you always have good, uh, good, I'm so cold, <laughs> you have good reception on your deck. Thank you for checking out this uh, weather adverse episode of NCIX Tech Tips. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos from your favorite computer e-tailer, NCIX.com, just like this one.